I want to get you to taste some stuff, but first, this is really important. Yeah. I'd like to make you officially a member sure. of the Terroir Quebec, the Turd Confederacy. The Turd Confederacy. This is, this is deer turds. This is deer turds. It's it's dried. It's dried it's, deer turds on my neck. It's shellacked. Shellacked turds. There's a lot of work, you know. There's a lot of work in deer shit out here. I raised hundreds and hundreds of dollars with earrings, okay. brooches, necklaces. All, all deer shit. Really? Yeah. You know, like the girl says, my boyfriend gave me shit. Yeah. Oh no, why? Because he loves me. Because he loves that me. Sort of That's thing, it. But... You know, not many people get gifted this beautiful shit lacquered deer shit necklace, you know? This is the best present gift ritual I've ever received in my life. Can Thank I kill you. you? Oh. I was given the necklace. Kaka! Now I'm here in a hot tub. Life's pretty good. Bonjour, trolls. I'm here, obviously, in a hot tub in northern Quebec like a goddamn god. You guys sitting at home enjoying your lives, kind of. So I've been coming to Quebec since the early 2000s, you know? Their food is rich, it's beautiful, it's about sharing, it's about community, it's over the top, it's decadent, it's everything that they are, it's passion, you know? Quebec has fucking passion. It's a beautiful place to visit. I couldn't live here, I can't speak French, it's annoying to me. But I can't speak French, not that French people annoy me. I caught myself there, didn't I? Mm-mm. I love coming to Montreal, but I haven't done a lot of traveling around the province itself. So this time, I'm looking to explore the terroir of the Quebec countryside. Is this a sushi grade lake? We headed out to Montebello, Quebec, which is an hour and a half outside of Montreal, to go fish for some trout. This is a lake, it's called Otter Lake. They got trouts in here. We're gonna catch some trouts. This is Emma, she's a phenomenal chef. Her restaurant's called Nowhere Gray in Montreal. This is Charles Antoine, he's unemployed. I don't know why he's here. Charles, what do you think? We're gonna catch any fish? Probably we're gonna catch a lot of fish. I don't understand what he just said. I'm gonna get a rod, I'm gonna go fishing. This is Keep It Canada. Ah! This is Olivier, he's our uh, guide for today. This guy doesn't have a cell phone, no iPhone, no smartphone, no Instagram, no Twitter. This guy is 100% human. This is the first time I've ever met one of these. I'm excited for him to teach me how to fish and become one with nature. No journalists, no crack, no, no stupid customer. Wow. It's a beautiful life we have yeah. out here. Wow. Oh. Nah. Is that you? Oh fuck! Emma! <laughs> Emma caught the first fish! Wow. The bounty is yours! That's your fish. Okay. Alright. Quebec is notorious for having beautiful product, right? Like it's fish, it's game. I think we only develop like 20-25% of what we could have. Right. There's a lot more to uh, like for example, like right now we start um, a wild meat uh, project. Right. That like eventually in the coming years we'll be able to serve in restaurant actually wild meat. So like meat that's caught by like hunters. Yeah. That's amazing. You're not allowed to serve wild meat in Canada anywhere except for Newfoundland. But Quebecers are looking into serving wild game in their restaurants as well. And like nobody. Oh. Charles is getting a fish. Maddie's got nothing. <laughs> I think fishing is a. Uh... It's a, it's an inner, okay, all right. <laughs> so there's all these fish jumping around, around us, around the lake. Hopefully one's gonna jump into the boat for me. What the? Emma got another one! I think the fish can smell that I'm from Ontario and it hates me, like most, most people from Montreal. <laughs> uh. oh. Are you kidding me? Are you guys both getting one at the same time? One would think that statistically I could catch a fucking... Okay, I'm gonna try to focus here and really catch a fish, okay? So... I'm gonna relax. Whoa! And... As I fucking get the fucking... Who's bringing the cookies home? Daddy is. Did you got another one? I also got one. 
<laughs> I caught one fucking trout. They caught like 15 trout. I've never caught a fish in my life. This is my first time catching a fish. Oh. Okay, pack it up. <laughs> Shout out to Canuck Nature. Beautiful time. Beautiful little lake. There's our loot. Wow. Agile. If you've never cleaned a rainbow trout, this is how you do it. You take a little knife, you make an insertion here, it's got a little pee hole. You bring your knife up and down. Then you got the guts and everything in here. Rip everything out. You got the bloodline up there. Kind of bring your thumb up through that. And then give it a rinse. We'll eat this at Nora Gray tonight. There you go. Oh my God, that jacket's gonna smell so good. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. So then after fishing, we got to uh, go clay pigeon shooting, you know, skeet shooting, skeet, skeet. You hear that? That's the internet troll getting loaded up. I don't know, hopefully this goes a little better than last time I shot a gun. Oh, whoa, fuck! Paul! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Charles Antoine, he like blasted two right off the fucking bat. Oh, first time? What? <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Ma. <laughs> Pull. Nice. Bang, bang. Super fun times. Shout out to all the dudes shooting guns all the time. Yo, bonjour, trolls. So today was amazing. We caught that fish. We shot some guns. Now we're gonna go check out Emma at her restaurant, Nora Gray. It is a phenomenal restaurant. She makes like literally the best Italian food in Quebec. I'm gonna be that sketchy weirdo, like supplier guy that comes in halfway through service on a fucking Tuesday night. Hey, how are you? That's our fish. And there's the trout, all the trout you caught today. So we're just gonna throw it straight on the grill, whole fish. Styles. That's the best way to cook fresh fish, in my opinion. And we're lucky to have a charcoal grill here in the restaurant, so it's going to be fantastic. We're going to make a nice little caper butter sauce to go on top uh, with some crushed potatoes and sautéed black cabbage. Emma caught more fish than all of us, so she had to cook the fish, which is better because she's a better chef than all of us. And that's it. Thank you very much for cooking this. It's a pleasure. Charcoal is perfect. I can't wait to taste it. It's amazing. So there's just a little bit more to add oh, to our little okay. piece this evening. Oh, okay. That oh. is our oh. T-bone. Oh my goodness. And... This is what I'm talking about. Fuck the trout. Thank you, Emma. Phenomenal. Dang, you just won. Winner Ganyan. This episode is brought to you by The Lottery. <laughs> Phenomenal people. Beautiful people. French people. Quebecois people. It's 5.30 a.m. I'm here with Cyril at Society Oriental. Well done. Woo! They procure the best materials in Quebec. They provide to a lot of restaurants in Toronto, a lot of restaurants in New York. Shout out to New York, you're cool. Cyril. Yes. Walk us through this beautiful shelving, please. Yes, here we, we keep our all uh, dry product. Of course, maple syrup. This is actually the last bottle of the year. This? This is the last one. It's a sign, it's worth for you. And we have some uh, honey. We're not gonna go to uh, Anisette, see the beekeeper yep. today. Can we talk about the sunflower oil? Because this is a crazy thing. When I first started buying stuff from these guys years ago, and I've never tasted something like this before. Sunflower crack, this is 100% Sunflower cocaine. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Maybe we should go inside the, the fridge now. Let's check out the fridge. This is the milk. Look at this. See this packaging? See this branding? Strong, simple, powerful. This is much like this man here. Doesn't look like much. Powerful. <laughs> Very powerful. You never seen this? This looks like a fucking, like a daikon, but it's a carrot. Can I break one open? Yeah. Right. Rusted them with a the pig? Yeah. Should be oh, great. Man. And duck? Roasties with duck. Woo! Woo! What else does this motherfucker want to show off? The oysters from Magdalen Island. And all the oysters that have been harvested. <laughs> Good breakfast. Good breakfast. Let's go hit the road. We're going to check out a bunch of purveyors with uh, Cyril. 
Viva la Quebecua! Mmm. That's salty as fuck. Bonjour! <laughs> So we drove for a really long time out to this honey farm, check out some beekeepers. Giro? Giro? Giro, you can Giro? say Giro. Yes, it's Giro? okay. Giro. He's from yes. France too. You're from France too? Yes. Oh my goodness, this is the worst. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I can't speak French. I'm sorry. I'm the worst person ever. But here, in this terroir of Quebec, we make the best honey in the world. I'm here to taste it. Tell me about this terroir. How can this only exist right here? It's because we have a really good climate that brings us some beautiful flowers. Yeah. And also because we have friendly farmers or, or organic certified. Right. Everything has to be organic it's in Around. the radius because these bees feed within, what, three, six kilometers? Uh, three kilometers. And that, 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 that's a big part of up here in like northern Quebec is like everyone wants to work together to make the right things happen, right? right? So everything's just feeding each other, right? right. Like exactly. this farmer has the chickens, this guy's got the soil, this guy's got the honey, and we got the milk, and the bees are everywhere feeding and loving and having exactly. a good time. Then they come home. Exactly. And bring some honey. And bring some honey. Because <laughs> <laughs> if they don't bring the honey, we got no money. <laughs> you always see bees flying around, they're making the honey, everything's amazing. What you don't see is the winter time. And we put some foil to isolate from, from outside. And the, uh, oop, be, be, <laughs> be careful. And here, just behind, there is uh, some hole so that they can go outside to put out all the, the sheet and everything. I never understood that beekeeping was, I thought that they would put it away for the, the winter, you know? And this, keeping it natural obviously adds to the uh, complexity of your wine and your honey. Yes. Okay, so let's go check out this honey wine. It's time, <laughs> it's time for the honey wine. <laughs> This is mead. We're in a mead cellar, pretty much. That old Viking stuff that people would drink of alcohol and fermented honey and all that good stuff. So you guys have some pretty good summer parties, don't you? Yes. You guys get all, <laughs> these guys get all naked running around putting honey on each other. <laughs> the honey boys and girls. This one is it's, uh, 12, 12 years old. Just like deep, <laughs> deep flavor. <laughs> deep woods. It's oh, Yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's amazing. It's even like a... Bourbon and whiskey there. Wow. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Old scotch. Exactly. Yeah. It was like a bourbon. Deep caramelized raspberries and very earthy tones. You know, bourbon talk, I don't fucking know. Just like scoop it? Yeah. Well, like, that tastes like, that's the world right there. That tastes like the world. Yeah. People aren't, don't know what honey tastes very, like. People are used to like sugar, corn syrup. Yeah, for people there is one honey. It's yeah. honey. Yeah. But here you can see that there is not only one, there is like... Giro? Yes. Thank you so much. Quebec, tell her a teal, it's my time! We got to go to uh, Rose de Vin, check out the amazing chicken farm. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ça va bien, homies. I'm out here, Rose Devin, with Jean Guy. We're here at his farm. They grow baby chickens to eat. It's an amazing experience. We got Cyril here. We got this old dog. It was trapped in the forest forever. <laughs> but now he's out. This is baby chicken world. Let's go inside. En principe, là, selon euh, oui. la fédération là, des, des prêteurs de poulet, là, on ne devrait même pas rentrer personne. Ça, parce qu'ils ont peur des, des maladies et tout ça. Oui. Mais juste comme ça, c'est pas grave. Je sais que vous venez pas d'une ferme jusqu'à des poulets. Non, non, non. C'est bon. Non. Fait que c'est des petits poulets. C'est des petits poulets qu'on a ici là, à partir d'un jour. À tous les 15 jours, on entre euh, 1500 à 1800 poulets. Being inside of a chicken coop, you know, it's a love-hate relationship. You want to be in there, you want to see how the chickens are feeling, connect with the chickens, but you know what? It's the most insane smelling fucking thing I've ever had to be inside of. It's like 98 degrees in here, it's very hot. I don't know why I still have my jacket on. I'm just about to start sweating. The ammonia is crazy from the, from the chicken droppings. That's no, no disrespect to the farm, that's just how it is, you know? Chicken shit is insane. 
What made you want to like do this here? Like in Quebec, it was a very specific thing, right? Like growing these younger chickens and uh, providing these for, for, for Quebec, Ontario. Like these guys are bringing these out to different provinces. Like that's an amazing thing that, that it started right here, right? Ben, les, les, les premières valeurs, c'est les valeurs familiales. C'est d'essayer, tu sais, nous autres, là, on, on a essayé de, de garder nos enfants proches de nous autres. Mais ça n'a jamais été notre objectif de devenir gros. Ça a toujours été d'avoir une, une, une dimension humaine qu'on ait un petit peu le temps de vivre tout le monde ensemble. Puis, euh... All right, so I got the baby check. This is a one week old check. This is the emoji con. This is the world of the chicken. This is it. I'm humbled right now. Such a beautiful little creature. And this chicken is the most eaten thing in the world. And uh, you know, you're sitting here holding a little baby check that's done right. So we're up here on the second floor. I like this room a lot better. It's a little less uh, insane for my body. We can hang out here a little bit. So we got a few, we still have two other, we have two other sections. They thought I was gonna hit daddy, Patrick, the daddy, the chicken lord. C'est ça ici, ils ont vraiment ici, ils ont cinq semaines. Pour eux, ils ont sept semaines. Okay. What's your favorite stage of the chicken to eat? La grosseur idéale pour le manger, uh, c'est trois semaines. Yeah, uh, uh, three, weeks. three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks is perfect. Uh, good. That's the strongest and it's tender. C'est tendre, c'est du bébé là. Yeah. D'autres on va à chasse là, puis on s'en mène euh, 20, 20 coquelets là, 30 coquelets, puis on se prend une, euh, un chaudron à l'huile pour les faire cuire là-dedans, puis l'huile pénètre pas parce que ça fait juste les rendre croustillants là. Best fried chicken. Fuck the South, right here, North Quebec has the best fried chicken. C'est bon. Next little trippy that we went on, we got to go to like Mont Tremblant, not being a loser on skis. No, checking out an old fishery that's been turned into an amazing foraging inner sanctum. So we're inside of a TP with the king of wild gourmet, the that's Sauvage. Right. Yeah, gourmet the OG Sauvage. Sauvage, Jarel, with Cyril, once again, the homie. Tell us a little bit about this crazy TP that we're standing in. So yeah, it's our meeting place. Yeah. We have very uncomfortable benches, keeps the meetings nice and short. Just the facts. Well, let's go check out some wild stuff. What I'm trying to do is to, to plant uh, native water plants that are edible in each of the basins. In this one, I've got arrowhead. It's a very spectacular plant. Would you like to see it? I'd love to see it. Well, uh, I'm going to have to get my hands dirty here. Well, that's it. Can I wipe it on your coat you, after? You, you can, yeah. We'll find something to wipe it on. There you go. Crazy. Looks like a, like a lamb it, testicle or something. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, uh, I've got, uh... <laughs> He's growing lamb testicles. Okay, you want to have this raw. This is wild Canada garlic. That's amazing. Whoa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, we won't be kissing tonight, will we? <laughs> oh, for sure. I would like you to taste the water that's coming out of I these mountains. I want to drink all of this water that runs freely, literally from the mountain up here. You think it would taste like rocks or like rust or something, you know? Delicious. This is beautiful. Let's walk. I'm refreshed now. Don't waste it. <laughs> You're strong, eh? This guy's got some freaking heaters. <laughs> I know. He's got some heaters in there. This guy really knows how to live off the land and forge amazing products. So much so that he's built a whole business around it to provide for his family. Jerome, thank you hey. so much. What's that, weed? <laughs> Evening primrose, it's great root. So we got a lot of amazing stuff over the last few days, haven't we guys? I obviously had to do something very special for very special people. Keller and Teal, cooking time. Now, we got a few things happening here, delicious things. We got some bacon and some Toulouse sausage. We got some duck. We got some little baby chickens. We got a bunch of root vegetables, maple syrup, some honey wine, a bunch of weird ass vegetables. All these things look very basic to you. They come from Quebec. Today's menu is very amazing. We're gonna make a whelk pie. So we're gonna take some whelk, some bacon, cook that down, add some cream, covered mashed potatoes, yummy. Number two, tortiere. It's like a meat pie. We're gonna make a dough, put some spiced filling in there, yummy. Next, shout out to the Rose des Vents. See those little baby chickens? We're gonna be roasting those beautifully with some roasted root vegetables from Societe Oregonale. Yummy again. Then we're gonna make cassoulet. Cassoulet is a classic French bean stew. 
with duck confit, Toulouse sausage, yummy, 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 yummy. Do I even remember what a fleur de lis looks like? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna look like a pot <laughs> Keller Atiel, it's family time. We're here in a beautiful home, shared by our friends. Now I'm gonna share with them the best meal that they've ever had. They've never had anything like this. No restaurant can compare to what I am about to let these people eat. And uh, it's been brought to you by Quebec. Um, ce repas là, ça me jette par terre. C'est excellent, c'est éclairant, c'est exactement traditionnel de Québec. C'est parfait. Sick. I'm out here in a hot tub. I got a shotgun behind me. I don't give a fuck. Do you give a fuck? Keep it Canada. World peace. Yeah! What time is it? Come on to Pelt 2!